Hey everybody, Gian here from the Squeeze Moby Crew. And today I'd like uh, to talk about uh, video skins. Now, this is a very interesting tool, a very interesting software, because uh, you know how all uh, the other like video player tools out there, video player software out there in the market today, uh, and you know, this one is going to completely change that. It's going to completely change the way you do uh, video marketing because in a sense you'll, you're going to have full control of your whole video skin. So how your player is going to look like, what it's going to look like, you know, where the buttons are going to appear, you know, where it's going to go, uh, you know, where it's going to go out, it's going to pop up. And it's very, very interesting because, you know, this is really something that's going to help you with your marketing uh, in, in that sense is uh, because now it's never going to be hit and miss when it comes to your video marketing because you are going to be certain you are going to be sure uh, because with video skins you know this is a proven concept and this is a proven tool so that you can you know get the most out of your video marketing, get tons of leads, you know, get a ton of engagement and, you know, get a whole lot of sales in uh, the process. Now, I'm going to go, I'm going to give you a quick peek at video skins and uh, here's, you know, how you could basically do it. You got, you know, the play button, it's drag and drop and it's going to tell you where you want to put the play button and it's there. You see, you can dra drag it, you can drop it. Right, and the, you know the play bar where you want to put it in. So here, you know, you might want to put it on top, right? And then you know, opt in forms, and it's, it's going to show you where or how you'll be able to put that opt in form. All right, and you, just, you know, you can click it and just drag it. You know, the buy button, the PayPal buy button, opt in settings. Of course, it didn't, uh, you know, allow me because you'll need to type in your opt-in settings in here uh, so you can check that uh, right, right which form uh, would you want to appear uh, either this full screen one or this little one which uh, you know you'll be able to configure m later on all right and then of course you got you know some text you can put in some text here uh, you know like uh, the YouTube annotations like that all right you could put in a count down timer so you'll see that right on your video so if your video is looking for some sort of scarcity then with video skins you could put it in you know that's right on your video you could select that right which type how it's gonna look like over here with the settings right and you have an animation delay so that means you know if you want to start the, the video out clean and explaining something like adding some uh, value to your customers and then you know at that point where you want to put in you know the scarcity then you put in the countdown timer so it's it's like an on-demand scarcity right images as well all right and you know all basic settings here uh, you could uh, check that out as well. You know, buttons, buy buttons, and PayPal button there. Uh, earlier here, that's the button. Here is the PayPal buy button, right? Donate, so you could check out with PayPal. Uh, check out with PayPal. You know, donate buttons uh, if uh, that's your thing. So you you got this buy button. You got this. You know, uh, you got this uh, little countdown timer, which is basically going to tell you, you know, some scarcity with that buy button. Is that's you know perfect perfect combination so that's how easy how simple to use video skins as you can see it's drag and drop all right it's drag and drop so it's really you're not gonna have any problems when it comes to you know how easy this tool is to work with so you know that's video skins for you guys I hope you can enjoy it all right and you know just click on the get access now button uh, to get video skins I'm quickly going to run you through how easy it is to create a video with video skins so all we do is we insert our URL select which platform it's hosted on so for this one it's YouTube enter a video name 
video skins demo. Let's publish it and click on next. Next we come to our skins page. They're busy being loaded in at the moment and you can go and select your own, but I'm gonna go create from scratch. And then we come to the preview page. Now this preview page is 100% responsive. So no matter how you resize your screen, the video is resized. And this right here is the preview, the thumbnail from YouTube. So I'm gonna drag a video play bar onto the video. I'm gonna select a pre-made template. I'm gonna change the color. Let's go with green. And I'm gonna make the buttons on the player white. And then I'm gonna remove volume, the full screen bar, and I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna adjust the opacity to how it suits the actual video. And then I'm gonna leave the play button off because I want it to auto play, but if you do put the play button on, you can customize that in terms of colors and everything else. Next, I'm gonna drag a social bar to the top right. And that can be dragged anywhere across the video and I'm going to select a template as you can see and I'm going to insert some links so that they show that these icons show on the video if they're left blank they won't show okay and I'm going to set that to display five seconds into the video and I'm going to leave this empty because I want it to show throughout the video next I'm going to go ahead and add an opt-in form I'm going to add one at the bottom. I'm going to, I want the name to be included. I'm going to add a heading. And I'm going to customize that text. Okay. And that can be customized in terms of the color as well, but I'm going to leave it as it is. Then there's the sub headline, which is right here. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and increase the size of the font. There you go. And you can change the form opacity color. I'm gonna just leave it as white for now. Next is the submit button. So we can change this to continue and we can change the submit color to red. So it really stands out. There you go. And I want this to be to be displayed 10 seconds into the video and I want it to just to be removed 16 seconds into the video and then you can go and integrate with all the major autoresponders So for get response, I'm just going to put in a dummy API key now and a, and a dummy campaign name Click on save and there you have it I'm going to hide this now because I want to go ahead and add a custom button now I'm going to drag that to the center and I'm going to go and scroll through all the button templates and find one that is suitable for the video. I'm gonna go with this one with the shadow and I can go ahead and customize this. Click here to find out more. I can choose a font type. I can change the color of the text and I can change the color of the button. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a link. Okay, and I'm gonna set this to be displayed from seven seconds into the video up until nine seconds. Click on save. Okay, and then I can go ahead and I can put a video border color. I can add in a retargeting pixel and I can customize the size of my player when I embed it. And then there's countdown timers, custom images for logos, or if you wanna make your own custom button. And there's a whole bunch of other features you can go and use. So just to display the software, I'm gonna click on preview. Okay, so this is, this is the preview page now. There's our social buttons that the user can click through to. Here's our, there was our button, and here is our opt-in form. Now obviously these would be displayed throughout the video, but I'm just putting them very close together to illustrate the software for you. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to go ahead and embed this. All you do is click on embed, copy that code, and you can go to your favorite page builder, whether it be Insta Builder, you can paste it in, click on save, or use any HTML page, and you can add it in just like a normal iframe or embed code from YouTube. Click on save, and as you'll see, 
it's going to go ahead and load in, in the dimensions you set for the player. That's the HTML page, and I'll show you with InstaBuilder or any other page builder, whether it be WordPress or Smart Member, whatever it may be. There you go. So that's the power behind video skins and how easy it is to go and set up a video with so many customizations. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to get access to video skins, the buy button is just down below and we really look forward to having you on board.